welcome to the computation and mathematics section okay here in this course uh, we will use python as our programming language okay so i will assume that you haven't taken any programming language class before and we'll start from very basic python and then we talk about built-in data structures then we talk about numpy and some basic mathematics and matlib pot also we we'll talk about numerical analysis and this is topics okay we'll start with fundamentals of numerical analysis then we we'll talk about solving equations and systems of equations okay if time permits we will add more topics here we might do this in parallel okay yeah. in the beginning we will start uh, python after we cover python basics we will in parallel we will start to do the numerical analysis topics also okay so uh, today we will do only python okay first we'll talk about why should you learn to write programs okay so computers can do things that is harder to humans easily for example if you want to read this article and understanding the meaning it's easy to you but if you want to count the number of times the word is occurs in this article it's a tedious job okay but to computer it's other way around okay so uh, to computer it is hard to understand read this and understand the meaning of this article but it's very easy to it to count the number of times is occurs in this article okay so for a task like to a ta tedious boring task like that we can write a program and give it to the computer so computer is like a assistant that we have keep asking us what to do next we can give boring tasks to it and save uh, that time to us to do interesting things okay so that is a main reason to learn programming then there are other reasons to program it's a rewarding activity if you like start to like it okay, you can write programs for many reasons okay you can write programs to make a living work as a programmer or as a data analyst or you can write a program to fun or you can write programs to help someone else to solve a problem okay once you learn to program you can use this skill as you like okay now before going into program mean we need to have a basic idea about the structure of a computer okay if you look at your phone or computer closely it will contain these main parts okay so the main parts of is the central processing unit or the cpu it is the part keep asking what next okay it's very fast if your um, cpu is registered at 3 gigahertz it will last 3 billion time per second what next question okay main memory is where we store the information that cpu needs in a hurry it is almost fast as the cpu okay but the disadvantage of main memory we lose the information in main memory when we power off the computer then we have input output dividers that we use to interact with the computers these include keyboard mouse and monitor speakers and mic like this okay 
then we have secondary storage secondary mem memory or secondary storage okay this is slower than the main memory but the information on that will remain intact when we turn off the computer okay if we turn off the power still the information in main memory and uh, secondary memory will remain intact okay then nowadays computers have network connection so network is another place where you can retrieve information but it is slower than secondary storage memory but <coughs> if we don't have a network connection we don't have the network we cannot use the network to get the data okay like you cannot go to the internet if you don't have the internet connection so to write so to give task to computer you have to talk with the CPU so for that you have to learn a computer language like Python, Java, C or C++ okay so process of this learning in a computer language is similar to learning a natural language like Sinhalese, Tamil, French, English or Japanese okay so these are the parts of the computer we discuss about this okay already we discuss about this I'll keep it for a minute so you can read them okay this is how they look in real life we have keyboard mouse game controllers mics and like that then we have monitors printers headphones speakers and projectors as output device then the CPU you look like this okay then we have main memory secondary storage devices like hard disk then we have flash drives as also secondary storage devices this is a picture of a hard drive then we have in network information is stored in normally in databases in cloud usually they are stored in databases in cloud okay and these things this communicate to software so to talk with the C computer and give it tasks we learn to like I said you have to learn a computer language so learning of a computer language is similar to learning a natural language like Sinhalese or Tamil okay Okay, so so about these parts you don't need to know deeply okay you need to know these star terms so we can refer to them when we are programming okay okay so as a programmer you will be talking to the CPU and you will be telling it what to do next okay you will call used to ask it to use the main memory secondary memory or network in or output input devices to solve a problem this process is called programming okay and for that you have to learn a new language I said like I said so learning this computer language is similar to learning a natural language like Sinhalese or Tamil okay so if you look at a learning a natural language new natural language like English or French you have to learn the vocabulary first okay that is the words in that language then the grammar the correct way to connect those words okay so you learn the vocabulary you learn the grammar and then you connect them in a grammatically correct way to give give a logical meaning you get a sentence okay 
and so you learn how to correct this grammatically correct way verb words to in a grammatically correct way to give a logical meaning you get sentences okay then you connect these sentences then you have to learn so that is one skill how to make these sentences then you have to come up with a set of sentences to tell a story okay so that is another art uh, you first learn to write sentences then telling a story using these sentences is another art okay so you need to learn how to tell a story in a natural language okay so in programming also you need to learn these two skills okay you need to learn the vocabulary and grammar and how to write a sentence in this programming language okay that part is easier then you need to learn how to tell a story by connecting these sentences in a meaningful way okay so learning how to write sentences is easier but to connect them and tell a story or write a program it will take more time to learn okay so when you go learn a language like python or one language go learning the next language is easier so normally from language to language you have a different vocabulary and grammatical rules but where you connect them and tell the skill that you need to connect them and tell the story is same okay So the vocabulary of Python is called reserved word. Okay, these reserved word have very special meaning to Python. Okay, they are called reserved words, so you cannot use them in other places. Okay, they have very re reserved use and a meaning. Okay, so they are called reserved word. Then we have syntax. Okay, we'll syntax tell you the way to correct these reserved words in a correct correct way to connect these reserved words to get a coding line okay so other than the reserved word later we will use words called variables that have a special mean that have a meaning to you so you will connect these variables and reserved word syntactically correct way to get a coding line Yes, syntax tells you the correct way to connect these things okay like the grammar in a natural language okay so then you have to connect these write these coding lines in a logical manner to solve a problem okay so collection of coding lines that will solve a problem in a logically correct way is called a program this process is called programming okay then unlike human language python vocabulary is very small okay we call these reserved words they have a very special meaning to python when we python see this word in a python program they have one and only one meaning okay later when you write program you will make up your own words that have a meaning to you. you they are called variables okay we will learn about these variables later so these are the reserved words for python you don't have to memorize them now we will learn about them one by one okay so next thing is to show how to communicate with python and how to install